Hello, hi friends. Welcome to new video. In this video, I am going to explain about how to pass JNDA and Anantapur exams. If you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel and turn on bell icon to getting notified first whenever I upload the video. First, don't be panic after looking the question paper. The booklet contains 36 papers. Next, the question paper contains two parts, part A and part B. In part A, you have short answer questions. It contains only two marks. Total 10 questions will be given. You have to attempt all 10 questions compulsory. Part B contains 10 questions of 10 marks. But in this you have choice to write. In uh, each unit they will be given two questions. In two questions you can attempt only one question. Each question carries 10 marks. You have to attempt minimum of 5 questions compulsory. This is about question paper. How to write answers in answer sheet? First you have to take the booklet. It contains 36 papers as I have told in starting. In 36 paper you have to start long answers first. Each answer should contain 4 pages to 5 pages. Minimum of 4 pages and maximum to 5 pages. Try to write 4 pages. If, if you don't know the answer, look at the question carefully and pick up the keyword from the question and try to write minimum of 3 papers. If you know the answer, you have to represent it carefully and by keeping in mind first you have to write main headings and subheadings by drawing the diagrams neatly you can get full marks up to 9 to 10 marks you can score easily while writing long answers while you are representing the subheadings it gives attraction to the investigator who is correcting your paper and he or she can give you full marks in this way you will represent then you can score more marks in JNT or Anandapur and you can get pass marks easily. After representing all long answers, in last of the in end of the booklet you have to write the short answers. You have to write all short answers at starting or ending. If you write the short answers at end, you have the main advantage because while correcting the booklet, so many lecturers they give the full marks to the two marks questions. Try to present two marks in the end. Thank you for watching this video. In this way, I am going to share my knowledge. Subscribe to the channel and share to your friends and comment below how was the video.